Hey, what's up guys? VG here back with another quick video from Android, your daily feed of all things Android. In my previous video, I talked about the Nintype keyboard which was released into Android from iOS. In that video, I mentioned this. However, I'm gonna stay with Google Keyboard as of now. And finally, I get to see a better version of the Google Keyboard as the Gboard app. And just like Nintype, this was also released in iOS first, in spite of being a Google app. It took us 7 months to finally get it on Android. Is it better than the Google keyboard? Is it better than Nintype? Let's see. It's no surprise that a lot of people feel that Google apps work better on iOS. This being an ardent example of how Google apps works better on iOS than on Android. Now I must also mention this is not yet released on the Play Store. As of the time I'm shooting this video, the APK will be linked in the description down below. Go check that out but it is also expected to arrive at the Play Store very very soon. The installation is pretty much easy. You download the app's APK, you install it using the inbuilt APK installer and you will find it automatically replacing the Google keyboard existing on your device. Yet, if you still get a parsing error on your device, it means that it is not out for your device yet. Please wait for a few days and it will be out on the Play Store. Now let's jump into the app itself. If you install the APK, you will find a G icon on the top left of the keyboard. This is what the app is all about. When you tap on the G icon, you will be able to search for anything without leaving the keyboard. You can also search for emojis now. Now I got to be honest, when I saw this being teased on iOS first, I thought it was going to be really slow and buggy when it comes to Android. But to my surprise, the first APK of this build works very smooth on my device. When you search for something, it gives you cards like in Google Now, which is amazing. It is even faster than opening up Google Now on tap and thus I find myself using this more often. There are also few more other changes when you compare it to the Google keyboard. Like the emoji button has been shifted to the left. The space bar has now been reduced in size, but I am not facing any issues due to that. You can now enter the one-handed mode by long pressing the return key or by tapping the G icon. When you tap on the G icon, you can also change the theme instantly and directly go into Google settings. The remaining parts of the app continue with Google Keyboard's legacy. You get all the features you have in the Google Keyboard and on top of that, all these new features. Also, you can expect this app to replace the Google Keyboard app on the Play Store. Anyways guys, this has been it for this video. Also, go ahead and check out our Nintype keyboard review which we made earlier. Now, we did say that if we reached 65 likes on that video, we'll be doing a comparison test between Nintype and swift key but sadly we didn't yet if you help us reach 60 likes on this video we are doing a comparison test between all three of them so go ahead and click that like button comment and subscribe this has been it for this video i'll talk to you guys in the next one